Ah, oh, look pretty, Julie. You know, this is uh, Disneyland's 10th anniversary. <laughs> to you hey everyone ngm here and i it is time the wait is over i am pleased to announce that disneyland 1965 is now available up for download link is in the description that'll take you to my planet minecraft page there you can download this map and you know go back in time and download my 1955 map if you haven't already so, before we actually get into the park, I would like to get this out of the way first. Please, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe for more future content of mine. And I will announce that I do have a Twitter account. You can go follow me there. My name will appear at the bottom of your screen. I am at NGM Entertain, and you can go there and follow me. Because, you know, I have social media networks now. And anyway, I would say let's, enough talking, let's get on to the tour. This might be a two-parter, this might not be, it depends on how long it, ta it takes for me to explain all the stuff that has been added. There is a crap ton of attractions that have been added to this version of Disneyland. If you haven't noticed already, this is 10 years into the future since opening day, and the crowd, the crowd population has increased vastly. So we have a ton more ticket booths out here, and basically the entrance hasn't changed that much. These banners are supposed to represent the posters, you know those posters that are hung up right over there underneath the tunnels there, you know, pirates and all that. Those were out here, and I saw in Google Images that they were out there again, I think, in the 2000s, so that's nice. Tickets were still available. If you if you haven't seen my 1955 video, I will leave a click on the little eye on the upper right hand corner of your screen there, because some of the things I might mention in this, in this uh, map review We'll be referring to things that I've also said in my 1955, so you might not understand what I'm talking about. Just just go click on the eye, and that will explain that. Go through the tunnel. Main Street? Still Main Street. Only a couple new additions. Nothing too major here. The only thing that's really different here are these little overhangs. You know, it's it was hot in California, so and there weren't as many trees as there are today. So, second best choice, let's just put these little overhangs up here to block the sun. You'll see a couple of these throughout the park now. So Main Street hasn't changed, but the hub, the hub is where we start to see changes. Like first of all, we have these two restaurants right here basically turned into the way we know them today. In this little restaurant here we have these planter things here and seatings. Little more in that sign. Little more nice. And then over here we have these, these, these planters and a bunch more seating. And this got a little update as well. Notice these little uh, aviaries over here have been added. So that's a nice little touch up and I don't have to mess with this building anymore. Thank God. I hate building that building. Anyway, over here, continuing on the hub, we have the Car Carnation Plaza Gardens. Because, you know, the gazebo that was once here wasn't big enough, so they did all, redid all of this. And this thing, this thing lasts until 
Well, what is it? Um, I have lists here. Basically, stays here until 2005, I believe. Maybe 2015, I don't know. Somewhere in the 2000s. And then over here, the last expansion of the hub, we have Monsanto's. Home or house of the future. Where they would showcase futuristic appliances and anemones that you will soon have in your home. And funny story about the overall style of this house, when the when the parts came in for construction, the, the uh, builders didn't know what they were at first, and they thought they were boats. You know, this house is, was made of plastic, and they basically came in these parts, so... Little confusion there, and with that, we then transfer over to our first land, Tomorrowland, which has seen the most change. And you notice all these flags, I mentioned this in the 55 video, these are the flags that were once over there, now moved up here to the entrance. American flag waving, the clock is still here, and over here we have Monsanto's Hall of Chemistry. Chemistry wave of the future and over here we have the entrance to space station x1 not much information on that and the circle rama or the uh, circle vision theater which is right in that circle and here's another example of overhang right there otherwise these two buildings not much here I did do the uh, art of animation on the inside here and then over here we have a little, don't exactly know what this is called, but uh, airplane model clubs would come in here and they would stand in the circle here. They would attach their a little uh, wire or string to their model plane right here, stand in the middle, and go wee Fly in circles. And over here we have a new attraction called the Flying Saucers. This attraction was introduced to us in 1961. And basically what it was is that you had these little inner tube type things that kind of look like Space Mountain's exterior facade. And but the the flooring, there was this entire basement, and there were holes through through the surface here that would that would, uh, and the basement underneath would shoot up very high pressures of air, thus causing these to float around. That description, though. But some problems with it, if you were a little too light, your saucer would kind of just sit there bobbing up and down. And if you were a little too big, ho <laughs> ho uh, you'd get in the saucer, they'd start the ride, and your saucer would just sit there. Yeah didn't think about that this is still rocket to the moon but different sponsors calls for different type of rocket and over here over here I'll get into more detail this later but this is the Tomorrowland Skyways to Fantasyland station oh man this is a huge attraction unfortunately I cannot figure out a way to make this ride a rideable ride here in vanilla Minecraft because you know I don't want you guys to have to download mods or install like enough custom commands like for the rocket to the moon I can't even do that ride anymore my it just it's too much for the computer now so yeah I'll talk more about this over here because Tomorrowland Station not many pictures of it but this is what it looked like but the Fantasyland station is what's popular, so I'll get to that later. And we come over to the Autopia, and look at this Autopia. It is huge. Let me change this so we can see. Basically, in essence, this is two separate Autopias. There's an entrance here, and an entrance right over there. This is the regular Autopia. This is the Junior Autopia. And right over there where my crosshairs are pointing is the Midget Autopia. That's not politically correct, but that's what it was called. And then over here, we now go into the 1959 era. 
that was a huge era where three main attractions were added. The monorail, Mark V monorail, the submarine voyage, and the mighty, mighty Matterhorn. But we'll talk about the monorail first. In the track layout is basically the same as it is today. Only difference is this circle here. This, when it first opened, was a circle. It did not originally go out into its loop and go over to the Disneyland Hotel and come back and zoom back in. Nope. That was very shortly um, added, but I decided to do the circle thing because it's... Uh, it's a thing with the monorail and not many people know was that. Then we go over to the submarine voyage. Not Nemo, but submarine voyage. This was mainly themed around 20,000 leagues under the sea. The submarines were a kami hunting gray color. And basically you would go underneath here. This thing was really small. It kind of looked out of place when I first built this. But basically you enter a shipwrecked area with gold and treasure, you head to the deep sea, which is basically all black, and then you enter a small ruined uh, temple, kind of like Atlantis sort of thing. Then you enter the volcanoes, where you then exit the volcanoes to come along face to face with this very silly silly sea serpent. Very, very silly sea serpent. Go go look up a image on Google Images. It is actually kind of scary when you think about it. Or when you look at it long enough. And that leaves us with this. Holy crap. This took me a month and a half alone. I got so sick of building this thing that I would transfer back and forth from attraction to attraction. When I was even done with Tomorrowland... This thing was still not done. I then started uh, messing around with Fantasyland. This thing was not done until I got Fantasyland done. Holy crap, this thing took so long. But yeah, that is the Matterhorn. The big attraction that is now open. And this, along with Submarine and Monorail, are the reasons why E-Tickets, the E-Ticket was introduced. And over here, our last Tomorrowland attraction the motorboat cruise it was basically an extension off the phantom boat lagoon but obviously more popular because this thing lasted decades it's basically the autopia boat with motorboats that's that's really all it is over here we have the midget autopia basically for your little toddlers and then we enter fantasyland where our first attraction we come up with is alice in wonderland Looks a little bit different, eh? Well, yes it did. It did look a little bit different. I tried to make the ride as close to the one today as possible so I don't have to mess with it in the future. But this is basically Alice in Wonderland. The, the, this little extension from the original thing there. And Canal Boats of the World got upgraded to Storybook Land. And see, we got the Storybook, we got Monstro the Whale. Here's something a little interesting that I wish I was alive to see. We have rock formations right here in the giant waterfall there. And what I like, kind of going along with the theming of the Chicken of the Sea here, we have Skull Rock. It took a while to figure out what to do with the eyes, but yeah, that's Skull Rock right there. I had a blast building this one. Yeah, Storybook Land turns into that, minus some of the facades because obviously movies were not built yet like today over here you'd see Arendelle and little Elsa's castle right there then that's Peter Pan Aladdin is right here but back then it was Mr. Toad in the little treehouse we have Snow White and the Seven Dwarves Cinderella obviously and that is that and then we continue on to the other side of the Skyway and if you haven't noticed a very very huge thing on Disney history nerds. These holes, these giant holes in the Matterhorn. The Skyway went through the Matterhorn. You can see here the incline, that and all that stuff. There's still one of these holes visible today and that's right here. 
It's been covered up a bit, like half of it's been covered up, but that hole is still there. These two holes, on the other hand, those are completely filled up. You will not see those holes anymore. And then we, we come to the Fantasyland Skyway Station. Station to Tomorrowland. This thing is very popular with history buffs. And if you guys haven't noticed, this facade is still there. This facade is still here in 2016. This is still here. It's been covered up by a ton of trees, though, and hardly visible if you're not really looking for it. But it's still here! And I got to see it before the potential uh, demolition of it. Which I actually hope never happens, because I, I, I love seeing that there. Just band abandoned, but I'm happy that they didn't get rid of it. More overhang stuff. And something I found out just last night. We ha now have the uh, Sleeping Beauty walkthrough. Uh, yeah, walkthrough story tale thing. On the inside of the castle. Funny story is that when they were... There was nothing in here when the when uh, Disneyland opened. So, when they went into the castle to make the room for this walkthrough attraction, they found over a hundred feral cats living inside this castle. Think about it. That is a lot of cat pee and cat feces. Think about that for a minute. Ew. Anyway, now those two lands are done. Now we go over to Frontierland.